Okay, so we continue cooking news about Forza from previous Moto News and we we'll begin with Forza Motorsport 6 Porsche expansion which was released on Tuesday. It cost $20 and it's not available for free if you own Season Pass. So if you want to have this expansion you have to pay it. Okay, so we got 20 Porsche cars. 21. What? 21. Yes, it's 21. You can count them. There are 21. 1, 2, 3, 4, 21, fuck you. <clears throat> yeah, 21 cars and one track, Virginia International Raceway. And you can race on this track during day, night and rain. And it has several configurations. So if you want to feel like James Dean, you can drive in Porsche 550 Spider. And I don't want to talk about Paul Walker because uh, some fanboys might kill me, so yeah. There are other interesting Porsche cars like Porsche Cayman GTS. But it's not the GT4. And we don't have a 991 GT3. And uh, some Eagle Eye fans have spotted on the trailer that there is definitely a 993 GT2, which is not in the pack. So if either it's another unicorn coming or whatever uh, but it's not in the pack but it was on the trailer then on the screenshot promoting the pack it's photoshopped out and post made into another car so it's kind of weird and this news was written by Ternus Den Staff yeah and next news is written by Brian Eckberg and it's about Forza Motorsports <laughs> Motorsports <laughs> and it's about Forza Motorsport 6 Apex uh, which is a powerful demonstration of what the Forza Tech engine can do when unleashed by DirectX 12 at resolutions up to 4K. And I'm quoting now. So it's a demo version, which will be on PC only on Windows 10. So you'll have to update. Uh, why it's a demo? Because it has not 500 cars, but 63. It has some 12 event career mode. Apparently it doesn't have wheel support which sucks. There will be some showcases with stick from Top Gear, which no one likes currently. And uh, we have six tracks in 20 variants, also with rain and wet weather. So this is a demo, this is a test of if people are interested in this, if people are, want Forza on PC and how many people will be playing. Shame is that it's on Windows 10, so I think Due to that fact, maybe not all people who would actually like to try it, will try it. Yeah, I'm fucked, because I'm still on Windows 7. And since Forza is taking part in PC Master Race, I'm very curious, will be able to race on rain and night at the same time? Probably not. They're just cutting some pieces away and putting it on PC. That would be something exclusive, and they're not gonna do that. And did you say that this game is coming on Spring? No, I haven't. And I haven't said that it will be free. Good. And this news was written by staff. So someone was sacked from Turn 10. And it's about Lamborghini partnership with Microsoft and Turn 10 Studios. And it's related to Lamborghini Cent Centena C-E-N T-E-N-A R I O. Okay, so this Lambo will be for the cover car. So it won't be for the 6 Apex, but it might be for the Horizon 3. And of course, everyone is excited working with Lamborghini, blah blah blah, blah blah blah. Love and fame. I think. Oh, I forgot. I forgot about very important news. March DLC is also coming to Forza 6 this month. And it will be the last pack covered by the car pass. So, now, staying on topic of Lamborghini and Forza 6, there is a new Lamborghini sponsored Super Trofeo series in the Forza 6. So, it's a two season event where you can win another unicorn, a Lamborghini Squadra Course Huracan LP620-2 Super Trofeo. So we have Gallardo Super Trofeo currently in the game and you can win the Huracan Super Trofeo by that. And the challenge is, thank God, easier than the previous one. The rules are quite complicated, but 
If you want the Hurricane Super Trophy Oka, uh, between March 2nd and March 22nd there will be three weeks of challenges on different tracks, I guess. One challenge is a Rivals event and one challenge are the League events. <sighs> it's complicated, I don't know how to simply explain that. So to win the Hurricane you have to complete three challenges in these three weeks. So, if you set a clean lap in the Rivals event, you get a bronze variant. If you finish in the top 15%, you get a silver variant. If you finish in top 5%, you get a gold variant. But if you get a gold variant, you can't get a silver or a bronze the same week. That's from Rivals event. And if you finish the top 50% in Weekly League event, then you get a League variant. So you can get six variants during the course of three weeks and if you get three of them you can do only three bronze. You can like do every week a uh, clean lap during Rivals event and you will at the end of the season one, so after March 22nd, you will get the Lamborghini Huracan Super Trophy. And then there will be season two which will just give more different liveries of, of Hurricane Super Trofeo and the ultimate trophy Hurricane Super Trofeo. So it will be another livery if you like that kind of thing. It will be exclusive. If you want to win that you have to complete six. In, so you have to set a clean lap every week and then finish in the top 50% of the weekly league for example every week. <sighs> I, I hope that it's understandable. <laughs> and you forgot to mention that this news was written by Brian Egberg. And now we are moving to iRacing and currently you can pre-order the new cars which are coming very soon and we'll be talking about them later. But first of all iRacing unveiled new feature which is called maintenance mode. So basically during the update process of the game you'll be able to test your cars. So you, if something go wrong, you well, you can still drive. You can race, but you can still drive. So yeah, we had this experience with no driver when game was dead. We have incoming cars in this update on 8 March. We will have Formula Renault 2.0, um, Audi R8 LMS 2016, the new model. GT3 and the Mercedes AMG GT3 and there should also be a new Mazda MX-5 Cup car which is free of charge and in this update there will be this DX11 mode with new time of day settings on some tracks no, I don't know if it's on all track or in just some <clears throat> but definitely at least on some and now it's time for a new game called the Cars Game of the Year Edition Wait, 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 wait. Game of the Year edition. In, w in which category? Most glitched game of the year? I think we had more glitches with Assassin's Creed. Oh, so the nominees were... The cars. For the glitch on Flying Stars on Rouen, which is still not fixed. Project Cars! And it, it went on and on. What we do have in this Game of the Year edition, what it consists of, apart from glitches? Yeah, additional 50 cars, 4 trucks, 60 plus liveries and 500 and more features and improvements that have been added since launch. Wow! And of course, with this edition we also get the iconic Nürburgring combined North Schleife plus GP circuit. And we got two cars from Pagani. First one is the Revolution and second one is BC. And very important thing, this content also be available for everyone who currently own this game. So you don't have to pay twice. And this Game of the Year edition will be available in spring on PlayStation, Xbox and PC. Now we're moving on to Race Room Racing Experience and we have a new previews of another new content which still hasn't been released. It's a Formula 4 car. So it's less powerful than Formula Race Room. There will be Formula Race Room Junior and Formula 4. So yeah, another open wheeler to race in Race Room. So if you like that kind of thing, that's good. Where is Nordschleife? Lost, apparently. Gone. Anyway, Need for Speed time again. 
And if you bought Origin Access on PC, you can test this game on March 9th for only 10 hours, which is sad. Uh, but on PC, you have unlocked frame rate, 4K resolution, will support, and yeah, 10 hours of playing. So you test it deeply before release, which is on in US on March 15 and in Europe March 17. So it's 11 days from now. If you hurry, you can probably finish the story mode in these 10 hours. So, F1 2016 now, and um, and from 14th to 16th March, they are inviting 8 of people, YouTubers I guess, who will help them in development of the new game. So, obviously we're not invited because we are from Poland and we haven't even taken part. We didn't know about that. I, I'm bored with Formula 1. I don't want to participate in that. Me too. So, nothing to worry about. And you can take a survey which will help them in, in understand how to make a new game. What what uh, do players want from them? So, it's good that they're trying to listen. Not, not necessarily they will listen, but they're appearing to be listening a bit. So that, that, that is good and that is positive. So, Vassimator 16? It's finally out and a couple weeks ago we talked about small delay. Now you can buy it, it's on Steam, very good. And currently it's on sale, so it's only 22.49 euros. And after March 9th will cost 25 euros. I think we might do a survey if this news will be posted before March 9th. Would you like to see a bus simulator videos? And maybe some welcomes, yeah, why not? Oh, Racecraft is out now. It's also an early access game. Uh, if you haven't heard before about Racecraft, it is a game with procedural generation of tracks. So every time you enter the game, you can get a completely random different track. It isn't like fully simulation realistic. It's It supports wheels, it supports controllers, it can be played on keyboard if you want to. Or you can play with ghosts or AI. We have different difficulties. Well, we haven't tried it yet. I don't know why, cause, because of lack of time probably. Because there are so many games and so many updates to new games that it's really hard to keep up. But it's probably worth a look. We have to, to try it out at least quite soon. I maybe post some videos. It's not a great looking game, no, don't expect that. But with random tracks it, it might be something interesting. Yeah, since it's, since it's late and we have to do some comparisons, if you enjoyed this video don't forget to turn off our blog, click like, subscribe, comment, follow, drive safely. So, thank you for watching and goodbye and see you next time. Probably we will be doing these shorter but more often if we catch up finally. We will see. Good night. Good night. Thank you for watching.